fellow sports lovers, and welcome to another episode of da -da -da -da. <laughs> Time Out, the show anybody can watch about sports, stats, facts, and everything in between, from a fan point of view. I'm your host, Charlie, so let's go get this ball rolling. Time Out. Let's talk about some sports. Hockey edition. How did I miss that? Well, the Lightning shocked and struck down the Blackhawks with a 3-2 victory in Chi-Town. Time out. Let's talk about this. The lights were shining bright in United Center in Chicago, Illinois last night. With the Lightning starting the bolt, starting it off the right way, do, 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 dodging the Blackhawk shots left and right, with superstar Ryan Callahan getting goal, the first goal in for the Bolts. Also in the first period, Brad Richards from the Blackhawks tried to come back with a vengeance getting his own goal in for Chi-Town, now leading the game 1-1 one one in just the first period. In the second period, no goals were made, but it was a bunch of back-and-forth attempts that Ben Bishop got to give credit to, and of course Corey Crawford also got to give credit to, blocking pretty much every goal that either team was trying to throw at each other. In the third period, the Blackhawks superstar Brandon Sad came back in the beginning with boom, skating one in right into the goal, getting the Blackhawks up a point. But then it was all up about them bolts. Boom, 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 dodging and ducking every shot the Blackhawks tried. And superstars. Odre Pallet and Cedric Picade got goal in after goal for the Bolts, helping the Lightning lead the series now, folks. All right, now Tampa, 3-2, to two, with a victory, actually, ironically, of 3-2 to two in Chi-Town. Both of these teams came into this game fired up, amped up and ready to play some hockey. And that's exactly what they did, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it was what a nail-biter, intense, edge-of-your-seat type of game. I mean, from both sides, got to give credit to both sides of the team, um, with Tyler Johnson and Ben Bishop playing one of the best games I've ever seen the Tampa Bay play. And the Blackhawks really trying to step up as much as they can and really trying to defend this rough and tough Lightning's team that is really not going anywhere with how much defense and offense they're showing. And But don't get it twisted. The Blackhawks are definitely not going anywhere either. With superstars like Corey Crawford, Patrick Kane, and even... Young stud Vermani, who by the way is 22 years old. Young dude, but making amazing comebacks here in Chicago. This sports lover is not going to miss any one of these games. What you watching? Well, here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, here it comes, game four. That's right. Not one, not two, not three, but four, four, four of the Stanley Cup Finals on Wednesday, June 10th at 8 o'clock p.m. on NBCSN. With this back and forth battle all the way to the end, this sports lover is not going to miss a second of it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Hot off the presses. Well, with the NFL Draft coming up in three weeks, folks, Jack Eckelman is still undecided if he wants to go pro or stay in college. 
uh, with working out and practicing with the Buffaloes with a uh, in Buffalo with their ice rink. Um, he is from Boston University and coming up as a sophomore, which is completely understandable why he wants to stay in college with not being able to win the Frozen Four and being defeated by Providence last year. Not to mention he has been offered to be the assistant captain of his team for the next season. That young man has a lot of decisions to make. Also in news, the NHL might ban shot block techniques. Um, after a year ago, decreasing the size of guard pads, the NHL committee is now targeting the chest, jerseys, and the pants. Uh, the idea is to prove that the gear is more about blocking and not about protection, which this sports fan thinks is a little ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, one of their crazy ideas is to uh, stuff the jerseys, which would make it a lot harder to hold a lot of the equipment. Uh, before last season, the committee shortened the height of the pads, you ready for this folks? 55% to 45, above the distance between the center to the pelvis. Back in the day. Okay, fellow sports lovers, here's a history lesson for you. Today, June 9th, in 1984, the Pittsburgh Penguins used their first pick overall to select Mario Lemovix. That's my show, fellow sports lovers. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to go in and like it, click the like button. If you really like what I'm talking about, don't forget to subscribe. Or you can reach me below the video here and leave me a comment there. Or you can reach me on Facebook at Charles Cowan Timeout or on Twitter at, at TimeoutNow87. Until next time, time out. Let's talk about some sports. Yeah.